Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of VP Customs. Today is a special one. We've officially hit 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> Wait, they don't make noise? I guess not. <laughs> you bought That's them. silly. <laughs> All right. And, uh, well. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be putting on uh, my front fender. We're going to be putting it back on the night train. But with a carbon wrap on it, a little twist. I'm not completely sold on the front fender still, but we'll see how this looks. But first, to one lucky subscriber as a token of our appreciation, what we're going to be doing is uh, giving away a VP Customs t-shirt. You guys can see that right here. Oh. Oh, it's nice. I'm wearing one myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to draw one lucky subscriber out of our hat here. And I'm gonna Mix them up good. Jumble them around. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Mix in. <laughs> Anticipation, right, guys? All right. Let's see what we got here. Jeff Saba. Jeff. Saba. Congratulations, Saba. Jeff. Saba Show Saba. Show them the name. Show them the name. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you are our lucky winner thank you guys so much yes and jeff the way you can re redeem your shirt here is you go to vp customs channel at gmail.com right you'll there find the link right there and it's also in our description just reach out to us and we'll get that t-shirt to you right Give away Give a look at it <laughs> dun, dun, dun. we can't thank you guys enough yeah we really appreciate it it's a lot of fun doing this with you guys so i i think this is something that we could potentially keep doing in the future yeah. You no, know, as we hit different milestones, we'll do different type of giveaways. So, all right. So uh, let's get started on our video today. All right, guys. So we're gonna get started, and the first thing we're gonna do is cover the fender here with the wrap. And Eric is just gonna show you a little bit about his bike, really quick, on um, just some of the carbon fiber he has and we'll go from there and get started. Yeah, so I've already started to do like the fork tubes a little bit. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's something that you could definitely do and make it change the appearance of your bike real quick. I also did the gas cap or, or the fuel gauge up here. It's just something quick. Um, so the reason that we're, I have a fender brace on the bike right now and it works fine. I mean, things get a little dirty, but it's not. You don't plan to ride in the rain, so I honestly don't get too dirty. It does a great job of keep of stabilizing the forks. But you know, it'd be nice to run a front fender as well too. So I'd like to have some options. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to wrap it up with uh, the same style carbon. It's a black carbon fiber. You can get it right on Amazon. It's not expensive. I'll put the link in the description below. I believe it's called Vivid uh, Black 3M Carbon. Figure we'll try it out on the fender and see how that works out. All right, guys. So to get started here, what we're going to do first is we're going to clean it off. I, I prefer to use something like spray away glass cleaner. It's great for stuff like this. It's cheap. And uh, what our plan here is today is we're just going to wrap the top part of the fender. Another important tool you're going to need for this is a heat gun. Here's that. Here's a close up of that weave. It's nice. It's nice looking. Squeegee may help a little bit. This isn't really like a complicated uh, bends or anything like that, but it can definitely prove to be kind of difficult. It doesn't help that the garage is kind of cold right now. So. It's freezing in this garage. <laughs> <laughs> so first we're gonna take a piece and um, she's gonna lay it, give it like a little bit of overhang. Give yourself a little room to work with. You don't have to really worry too much about the wrinkles. They will come out. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can help her out a little bit here. It helps to have a second set of hands here. So. That's good right there. Just cut right in the left side of my thumb. Right, that big wrinkle. All right, so now we got a base piece that we can work with here. Um, we'll confirm that this is definitely dust free. We'll take another real clean rag and just wipe everything off again. 
I already cleaned on the other side of the fender to make sure that's good. Doesn't well, you, help that this thing wants to roll. Yeah, they want to roll up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to preheat them a little bit. I'm, the, I'm by no means a professional with this, but I've done it a little bit. So on just like a low heat, we'll just preheat it and make it a little bit uh, more pliable, I guess the word would be. So I'm just kind of getting a little bit of a shape here. I know there's probably people that can do this a lot better, professionals, but the purpose here is to show that you can, you can do this on your own. Just gotta have some patience. Yeah, this is a process that um, <laughs> It's kind of, it's weird because you, you will end up having to peel it up and on and off a few different times. And I did shorten my nails for this <laughs> project. Actually for a lot of the projects to come. It'll make things easier to work. All right, so we start on just one side, but we're gonna have some overhang. Not too much. All right, so now you don't want to really want to worry about the wrinkles too much. But I mean, if you can avoid a little bit of them. Right, now we have it laid down. What we're going to want to do here is we're just going to start, kind of start working it. Um, as she heats it, or as I heat it, on a low heat setting from like a good distance away. I mean, what's nice about this stuff is it does kind of have a memory to it, so it can return. And you're just gonna wanna like stretch and, and uh, pull back. Just we're gonna start in one spot and we're just gonna keep working our way until we get to the end. It's a lot of peeling up and putting back down to kinda. Go back to the fender too. We do screw up, we're human, right? <laughs> Really not as easy as as it looks on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is not easy, but it is something that you can do. Also, it helps to grab the side and kind of stretch it while you're, while you're trying to lay it down. It is slow, like we said, you have to have patience with this. Um, but once you kind of get on a roll, I mean, it should help out. It kind of goes against what you think that you have to do because you're taking it off, putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on. And I'm sure there's people cringing watching us do this, but not professionals, so we're just, it's just something that I've kind of picked up a little bit on the way. You can only get better, right? Turns out he might be a little bit better at this than I am. <laughs> now you started the hard work here. Did you get that done? Give me a seat. <laughs> no, no sitting for you. All right, let's get, work. Some, get some heat in here. And we're not professionals, so. Yeah. And it will get damaged just as far as the fender goes. I mean, they do, they do get. It's not a permanent thing, but it's something I wanted to try out. I thought it would be different looking on the bike. We're getting there, halfway there, halfway there, maybe. <laughs> oh, now you're going back on that side. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, before you pull, you have to make sure this stuff's hot. Yeah. Get our razor blade. So we're looking pretty good here. It's not perfect. The weave is pretty much straight for the most part. A little bit of stretch in here and there. Nothing major. We're going to trim off the excess and uh, see if we want to do these, these mounting brackets on the side here. They shouldn't be too bad, but Famous last words, right? Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a razor blade and go around, leave a little bit of excess trimming around. See in here, I got some nice orange paint from 2015, and uh, some fresh paint on the road. <laughs> Never bothered to clean it off. Looks good, it's a good story to keep telling. Post heat, once as I'm going, we're gonna heat and just wrinkle down the sides over here. get you in there and show you what I'm doing real quick so I'm just kind of put cutting and wrinkling down the sides just as like an overhang we'll be honest in some spots I don't have the overhang it kind of ripped a little bit but you just let me know when you need to a little crinkly in some spots but whatever no, there's no term you won't see that from Main Street right <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> Can't see that from Main Street, right? <laughs> Alright, heat that up. So there's a spot right there that I was I was unable to. I, I kind of ripped it a little bit, so I don't really have much overhang there. Sucks, but whatever. We don't have too much invested in this. I think the, the whole roll was 20 and I used half the rolls, so. I think I just saw your breath there. It's a freaking cool <laughs> It's like we need some heat in here. Keep subscribing so we can get heat in our garage, please. <laughs> <laughs> she's an excellent heater. I love heat. I'm surprised she's not blowing on her head. I'm also a summer baby, so that <laughs> would make sense. I'm excited to get this thing on the damn bike already. <laughs> Sick of doing it. Yeah, because yeah. we're, we're going to go out for a ride in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, with the ice. <laughs> Maybe you can. Yeah, no. That was enough that day. Yeah, yeah go watch that video where we took the blattles out of her exhaust and uh, you could see Tanya riding 28 degrees. I don't even know if it was 28. I think it was it's less. Probably colder than that. Okay. It's neat. It'd help if your big fingers weren't in the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna take the heat gun and go around everything again. Kind of give it like a post heat treatment. And I'll just go around and smooth all the edges out. Yeah, that's your cue. My cue. She challenges authority. Ooh, sorry, Ooh. I think all I right. just. Did I, I burn you? Third degree burn. Which piggy was it? <laughs> it was that, was that one again. Yeah, that one again. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see what this looks like. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not perfect. It's not but, perfect, you know but I'll it's, take it. Yeah. I will take it. I like it. Don't get too close to the wrinkles now, all right? All right, all right. <laughs> I think it's gonna look great on there. Yeah, it's gonna look awesome. I mean, the good thing about it is it's just a wrap. It's not like you know, it's painted and you know. So we decided against doing these, and it's not really for the hardness factor. Not, I, I don't think it would be easy, but I think we could do it. I think it would just kind of be smoother with it not done. 
Tell me guys what you think when it's on the bike. If you think that we should have done these, I can always take it off and do it. It's not that hard, so. Yeah. All right, next, we are gonna take off my fender brace that I have on there right now. And uh, I'm gonna throw this fender on. Yeah. But before we do that, when I do go to put it on, I'm gonna have to put these brackets, these brackets uh, that my father made. And because I'm running the 21 by three and a half inch wheel in the front, can't fit the stock soft tail front fender over it. And uh, so we made, he made these brackets here to basically raise it up so we can clear this fender because the tire is too fat, it will never reach with that. So, all right, let's take off the front uh, brace. Okay, so pro tip, uh, don't take out all the bolts on that because you don't want to drop it. You don't know, kind of, like don't take them out completely out of the forks. Okay. Because it kind of it's gonna be your way to uh, to hold them on. Oh, you're tight now. Lefty uh, Lucy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Run it up. <laughs> you should be able to just thread off the nut on the end of it now. The nut? Yep, hold it. Yeah, it's not a bolt, that's a nut. Oh. I was being dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't take it out. Don't right? take it out. Okay. Don't take it out. All right. Don't no, lose the other your side? nut. The other you side? Up, did you pick up your nut that dropped? No. All right. Well. All right. <laughs> okay. You can take out this side too, but just like I said, don't take the bolts out. Okay. Oh. We always are working on her bike. What about this thing? Hey, we're working on your bike right now. <laughs> All right. So it's loose. So yeah, leave the bolt All in right, there. Leave the bolt in. I gotta teach you right to tell you left you Lucy. I know right to tell you right whatever it is. <laughs> but it was the opposite when I was no, left these Never mind. Never mind. I got it by the fourth one, guys. <laughs> I will not pretend ever. Well, sometimes I do. She doesn't know what she's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> She knows what she's doing. Sometimes. All right, so okay. I'll, help, I'll help you then so we don't scratch anything here. What we're gonna do is hold this up and we're gonna hear a lot of washers flying in because this thing is so tight to my fender, or to my tire, that I had to wash it up and kind of clamp it up. There we go. I caught most of them, on go. my side anyway. All right, so let's put this thing on. We got our brackets installed. <laughs> Alright, so maybe you hold it while... Kind of, it goes in one spot, so... Alright, so, Tanya, one washer, one nut per stud. Small side out. There you go. Good luck. I got this. Good luck. Yeah, you got this. I actually it was just by chance that I said. You got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'll hold this for you. And just spin. Now, right? hmm. I won't tighten this one. I will go. Oh. Can you hold it for you? No. <laughs> I'm going to do it myself now. Thank you. Don't scratch it. Shh. I'm going to scratch you. <laughs> I mean, I could have used your help on that one. <laughs> nope, you said no help. Fine. Now 
Man, I'm loving the way this looks. I mean, I'm still not sold on the big front fender thing. We might have to take off. Maybe we'll take it off like right there. Something like that. Tell me in the comments below what you think. I like just the small bracket you had. Just the, the brace, the fender brace? Yeah, the fender or brace. Or the fork brace, I'm sorry. Yeah. I like that a lot better. This is different. I mean, it's an option to run this sometimes. I mean, you can always do a wrap on the fender brace. Yeah, that'd be a little bit more intricate, I think. I think that would be. With, uh, really with all those holes on it. But. I don't think it would really be that bad, to be honest. Yeah, we'll have you do that one then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. Yeah. I think uh, I got my poor it. wheel's probably scratchy. I know a bunch of people ask me, there is a walk around in this bike, if you want to know more on it, in the low and loud video that we oh, have. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, a bunch of people have asked me about the wheels that we have on them. This is an Ultima, the fat spoke, and it's just a stock uh, soft tail rear wheel. I think it came out of Fat Boys and the Night Trains we painted black. But um, it's 21 by three and a half, so you can't fit the stock fender. I mean, some tires I believe will clear underneath the stock fender, but I know the Shinko that I have on there does not. So, pretty happy with this though. Looks pretty good. A couple little wrinkles here and there. I'm not a professional, but we're real people. We are. <laughs> we are, guys. Sorry to say it, we are real people. <laughs>